from Indianapolis, it's the Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation Special, presented by Super Dope Chiropractic. Coming up. Let's make a difference while we can. You know, whether I'm able to play this game for a year or for 20 years, whatever that looks like, let's make a difference right now. Colts quarterback Carson Wentz is a man on a mission. Well, the second we moved here, felt like home. Felt like home and we knew we wanted to give back. Tonight we spotlight Carson Wentz and the AO1 Foundation and the impact it's having right here in the Hoosier State. I know when he came to India as a quarterback, he wanted to be more than just a quarterback. He wanted to make an impact on the city. Plus, the work the foundation is doing across the world. Over the past six years, my wife and I have developed a deep love for the people of Haiti. Away from the football field, Wentz is leading the charge to serve others. For them to allow us to see that is probably the biggest gift anybody could have given us. The Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation Special begins now. Uh, good evening to you and welcome to the Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation Special. I'm Anthony Calhoun. In the next 30 minutes, we'll take you on a journey of the incredible work Colts quarterback Carson Wentz is doing off the football field through his foundation, AO1, which stands for Audience of One. When Carson arrived in town in March after being traded to the Colts from the Eagles, it was one of his main priorities to give back to his new football home here in Indianapolis, and he's doing exactly that, just like he's done his entire NFL career, putting his words into action. Colts quarterback Carson Wentz knows he's been blessed with the talent to play in the NFL, but he also knows his life is more than just about throwing touchdowns on Sundays. For Wentz, it's bigger than all the accolades on the field. It's about serving others. I knew God had given me a platform um, in the NFL, um, and I, you know, you never know how long that's going to last. And so for me, it was let's make a difference while we can. You know, whether I'm able to play this game for a year or for 20 years, whatever that looks like, let's make a difference right now uh, where God has us and, and try and uplift people kind of all over. In 2017, the Carson second season in the NFL, Wentz had a vision to start the AO1 Foundation which stands for Audience of One. It became a life motto, really applied to me on the field, but also in everything I did, whether it was school, hanging with friends, you know, as the word says, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So it really just kept in perspective for me. The mission of his foundation is to uplift communities and change lives. The AL1 reach has been monumental. Over the past six years, my wife and I have developed a deep love for the people of Haiti. This past summer, Carson and his wife Madison donated $250,000 to the Haiti Relief Fund after an earthquake shattered the country. We just prayed about it, we prayed about, how, God, how can we help and what can we do? And obviously, physically, our time is limited and we can't go physically help there, but uh, God's given us a resource and we want to be able to be a resource for them and um, to help get them back on their feet. And, you know, it, it's, it's small in the big picture, but we believe that every dollar counts um, and, and we can you know, make a difference and keep chipping away at uh, providing some hope for that country. His love for Haiti is one of the three main ministries of the foundation, but his heart for people doesn't stop there. The AL1 Foundation plays host to many charity events, including his annual softball game and the AL1 golf out. To think about kind of how it's transpired over the years, and uh, for the most part, it's the same direction that we, we had in, in mind when it started. Um, you know, obviously having now our own ministries and our own kind of food truck, we didn't know about that when we kicked off and uh, where it was going to go with the, the outdoor ministry and the programs we have there. Uh, but it's been pretty cool to see, you know, God just open the right doors um, and for us to just obediently walk through those and, and for God to also put the right staff of people around us to help those ministries go uh, has been pretty, pretty cool, pretty fun, and uh, we look forward to continuing to bless people all over. And the foundation is doing just that on many levels. We want to, you know, them to physically have an experience, but at the same time, we want them to leave spiritually changed. We want them to come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, for them to be introduced to the gospel and provide them that hope um, that supersedes everything that, that is on this earth um, and have an eternal impact on people. There's no doubt Carson finds joy investing in others, and the Colts quarterback says he and his family are ready to add Indy to their call. We believe that where God puts us um, is where we want to also give back. And so uh, God put us here in Indy. And God willing, it's for a long time, but you just never know. And so we said, let's give back 
right away. Let's find a way and let's get that food truck out there rolling. And um, it's, it's been cool to see the community rally around us and, uh, and not just football, but off the field and everything that we're doing uh, foundation wise. And uh, we're, we're just getting started. Yes, Carson and the AO1 Foundation are just getting started. All right, folks. Recently, uh, their work was on full display when Carson invited a special guest to a Colts game at Lucas Oil Stadium. Colts fans and the community witnessed Carson reuniting with his biggest fan, Giovanni Hamilton. The two became friends when Carson played uh, for the Eagles. Wentz, along with the AL1 Foundation, hosted the Hamilton family to a fun weekend here in Indy. Giovanni is battling a rare condition that causes permanent muscle stiffness. Now, the 14-year-old said it was encouraging watching Carson play so well after his hero battled some tough injuries earlier in the season. He has a block in the road like he did with his ankle sprains. You, you have to keep going and you have to keep fighting. And there's always going to be a reward at the end, like his 400 passing yards last week. <laughs> How about that? All right, folks, it's time for a quick break, but more to come here tonight on the Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation special. Uh, coming up, the audience of One Foundation makes its first major move downtown. How this big blue truck is already changing lives in our city will take you behind the scenes. And later, the AO1 Foundation is a family affair. Carson's brother, Zach, joins us in studio to share more on why he's on board to support the Colts quarterback's cause. The Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation Special is presented by Superdope Chiropractic. It's kind of surreal pulling down the street, seeing it on the corner here uh, just a couple minutes ago, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Oh, welcome back to the Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation special. I'm Anthony Calhoun. A small gesture of kindness resulting in a massive message here of hope. Uh, tonight, our Charlie Clifford joins the AO1 Foundation on the road for a behind the scenes look at a new gift for Indy. An audience of one, a menu of two. Earlier this month on the corner of New York and Delaware in downtown Indianapolis, a big blue truck. 150 free healthy hot meals for the less fortunate. All cooked inside thy kingdom crumb. For him to take the time out, for him to put himself in a position to help us, to give us a morale booster. Believe me, all the fellas in here appreciate it. They enjoyed it. We're gonna be talking about it all night. Colts quarterback Carson Wentz, his older brother Zach, two straight hours on the grill and a major assist inside the truck. Less than a week from her due date with their second child, Carson's wife Madison clocking in. This is actually my first time on a truck, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun back here. Charity, killing the, killing the food game, um, but we're definitely having fun back here and the, the crowd has been awesome. So it's definitely a cool experience and we're just um, glad to be able to get back. Chili. Chili. The Wentz's in this dedicated foundation team at the Wheeler Mission reaching go on their monopoly board of giving in our city. That means a lot. It means that uh, I know when he came to Indy as a quarterback, he wanted to be more than just a quarterback. He wanted to make an impact on the city. And I think definitely he's making that impact today uh, by starting this. It's incredible. I mean, Zach and, and our food truck staff that moved here from New Jersey to do this have put in, have put in a ton of work. We obviously learned a lot in Philly about, about what it takes to really come together, and the food is incredible. We, we hired a great chef, and she knows what she's doing. 26-foot truck, Carson Wentz. He's going to spend a lot of time here in Indianapolis. We know the number he wants to get to, 90,000 meals served. That's where he was in Philadelphia, a number that continues to grow, even though he's moved back to the Midwest. Going forward, Wentz and the team make it clear, this is just the start. The second we moved here, Felt like home. Felt like home, and we knew we wanted to give back. You know, it's it's something that, that God's put on our heart to give back to wherever He's placed us. And so, as we go, hopefully it gets bigger and we see more crowds or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, uh, we just want people to be be seen. A handoff. 
doesn't need to go for a touchdown to make a difference. Hey, good luck to you. Keep playing hard. All right, thank you guys. Very honest. The impact of lending your time, a gift no scoreboard on earth. Pretty packed, bud. How you doing? In measure. For Wish TV, I'm Charlie Clifford. All right, thanks a lot, Charlie. If you want to know more about Thy Kingdom Crumb, the food truck with AL1 Foundation, about being a volunteer, donating food, information there on the screen. Just go to IndyTKC.org for more information. Okay, still to come here on the Carson Wentz AL1 Foundation special. Carson's brother, Zach, joins us on the show with the latest on the foundation and how you could be a part of their mission to make a difference here in central Indiana. And still ahead, more on the AL1 Foundation's outdoor ministry programs and how they've changed children's lives, like 15-year-old Bennett Aerith. And tonight, we share Bennett's story and his special connection to Carson Wentz. The Carson Wentz AL1 Foundation Special is presented by Superdope Chiropractic. Well, welcome back. Glad you're here with us tonight as we continue to spotlight the Carson Wentz AL1 Foundation. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome to the show the executive director of the audience of One Foundation, Carson's brother, Zach Wentz, here with us tonight. Zach, great to see you as always, man. Appreciate it. And um, Carson Wentz, uh, I, I go back to back in March when yep. he first came into town. Um, he was so determined about, hey, getting the job done on the football field, but also in the community as well. I mean, has your brother always been like that one to give back to folks? Yeah, I think ever since he was a kid, he's been a, a goer, a doer. Um, and most people who know him as a, as a student or an athlete in college or a coach now know that um, sometimes patient isn't, being patient isn't his strongest <laughs> asset. So yeah. I knew that when he got traded here that it was going to be quick for us to transition and get here and, and start serving people. You know, when you look at what he's been able to do already here in Indianapolis, yeah. um, where did that come from? Was that from parents? Was it yeah. his brother telling him you got to get involved with the sure. community? Sure, I wish I could say it was from me um, and <laughs> yeah. as an older brother that he modeled some of the behavior off me, but I think really his, his spiritual, his faith journey in college really just grew um, over the last few years as he transitioned to the NFL. And he just knew that this was my platform, this was my time to serve, and I've been given resources that many people haven't. And I'm just going to serve like my king served his people, and I'm going to serve as best I can. So give us the message, the mission behind the L1 Foundation. Yeah, the mission statement is uplifting individuals and communities around the world by demonstrating God's love for his people, which is very broad. We're trying to uplift communities and people tangibly. Yeah, and so that, that, that mission there is amazing. I, you can see it already on full display, what you're doing here in Indianapolis. And I understand that, you know, this staff, great staff you guys have, the L1 Foundation, but there's a connection with you guys, right? Yeah. A lot of you guys know each other before sure. you even develop this staff here, right? Yeah, fortunate enough to have a lot of uh, friends, people we grew up with, people we went to college with and built close relationships with, people we trust, people that are, are hard workers, people that are doers, diverse, challenge each other, and yeah. really just look to, to continue to increase and, and do more and do better. That's got to be, feel, you, make you feel really good to see, to be around people that you know well, but also with, with the same goal in mind as well, right? Yeah, it makes uh, going to work every day a little bit uh, easier. And as far as your ministry, I know there are three main ministries. Tell us a little bit about yeah. that. Yeah, all three are, are unique to Carson's Hobbies. We're very, um, very Jesus forward. We're trying to share the love and hope uh, of Jesus with everybody. And of the three ministries, we have that Kingdom Crumb food truck. So we have a mobile food truck right now in Philadelphia that's staying. And we just launched one here in Indianapolis. Excited for that to continue to, to serve people. The outdoor ministry is composed of, we take kids on once in a lifetime outdoor adventures. So you talk about kids who have um, undergone serious medical battles in their life, uh, battling anxiety, depression, all the things that are going on in a teenager's mind and really let them unplug and open up the word and see who they are as people. And last thing, the Haiti Sports Complex um, really just giving these kids that don't have any opportunities, giving them nutrition, yeah. but also an opportunity, an outlet for sports, positive mentorship, because we know what sports has done in our life in Carson's. That's great, and real quick, I know Carson's been wearing some of these AL1 shirts, yeah. a lot of the merchandise. Tell the folks a little bit about that. I know a lot of Colts fans have been seeing him out there before the games as well in these shirts. Yeah, it started his rookie year, we were really just um, kind of branding the foundation a little bit, and it kind of launched into something where we're picking seasonal scriptures that we think pertain to Carson. Um, culture, society at that time, and try to make it an opportunity for people to be faith forward, 
and uh, also help brand a little bit, but also just um, we think they're pretty cool. Yeah, they look pretty cool indeed. Of course, you want to know more information about the AO1 Foundation, well, go to your website? Yeah, go to AO1Foundation.org and click around on the ministries and uh, find different ways to, to help and support the cause. All right, man. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, and we, we appreciate all the work you guys are doing right here in Indiana. We really do. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, we're going to take a break up next here on the Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation Special. We have the inspiring story here on Bennett Aerith and how the 15 year old has overcome his fears thanks to the experiences he has had with the AO1 Foundation. The Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation Special is presented by Super Dope Chiropractic. Oh, welcome back to the Carson Wentz AO1 Foundation Special. I'm Anthony Calhoun. Another mission of the foundation is this outdoor ministry where their programs bring people together while sparking a passion for outdoor activities. Our Olivia Ray shares the story of a young man whose life will never be the same thanks to these opportunities. Bennett Aerith has always admired Carson Wentz because the 15 year old's life revolves around sports, faith, and he's a freshman at the same high school the Colts quarterback once attended but he never imagined that it'd be his idol who'd help him find ways to crush the curveballs that he's been thrown. I was born one pound, and shortly after that, I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, and then about 12, I was diagnosed with epilepsy. And shortly after Bennett's epilepsy diagnosis, he was invited to attend Camp Conquerors, a five-day adventure program put on by the AO1 Foundation's outdoor ministry. And I had to contemplate it because I've never been away from home for more than for more than one night. And that was probably the best decision I've ever made. Going to camp has probably been the single most impactful thing in Bennett's life because you wonder as a parent, what does this future look like? And my husband texts me, he's like, he's gonna be just fine. Like, and for them to allow us to see that is probably the biggest gift anybody could have given us. From West 56th Street all the way back to Bismarck, North Dakota, Carson Wentz and the AO1 Foundation are changing lives. And not just by providing once in a lifetime experiences, but by forming lasting relationships all across the country, just like the special bond they formed with Bennett. I do not know where I would be without them because they gave me the best advice about everything. Like, I tell them the problems that my parents would care less about. This is about guidance. This is about Bennett has a problem. He had maybe he had a bad doctor's appointment, didn't get the news we wanted. He can call one of these guys and they'll say, hey, let's pray about it together. How many professional athletes care to that level? Yeah, Bennett is uh, the epitome of, of the people we want to impact. He brings so much life and joy and to all those groups and all the other kids kind of rally around him. And it, it's really cool to see, um, you know, the, the, the staff with AO1 kind of impact and touch his life uh, and, and how he's kind of transformed over the years now that we've gotten to know him. Uh, pretty cool, pretty special kid. Bennett has continued to step out of his comfort zone with the AO1 Outdoor Ministry, taking an ice fishing trip, returning to camp, and this aspiring sportscaster even hopped on the airwaves at Wince's charity softball game this summer. All right, coming up the plate now is number 51, James Fisher. And he hits a line drive down the left field line. That's going to go for a... Double. He can do these things. He doesn't have to miss out on life. They've just been able to give us a different perspective on our own son. And I'll forever be grateful for that. Fearless is the mantra of the AO1 Foundation, and Bennett Aerith has bought in. For Wish TV, I'm Olivia Ray. Wow. Wow. Just wonderful. Man, powerful stuff right there. Thank you so much, Olivia. As we end the show tonight, folks, a big thank you to Carson Wentz and the entire team at the AO1 Foundation for allowing us to share all the wonderful work they are doing right here in Indianapolis. And if you want to learn more about the foundation, folks, just go to their website, AO1Foundation.org. That is AO1Foundation.org for more information. 
Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Have a great night, everybody.